Today in 2015, BC is at a point in its history where there's a huge amount of industrial expansion coming up. Uh, oil and gas industry is, uh, is predicted to spend uh, tens of billions of dollars in industrial expansion with pipelines, LNG extraction, there's new Site C, hydroelectric dam been going in. And if you add it all up, it's the biggest industrial expansion in BC's history. At the same time, what we're seeing in people working in the profession in the conservation, biology, ecological restoration is that there is a, what's called a demographic rollover. It happens about every 35 years. Of any people that started in this field in the mid to late 1970s are now reaching their end of their career and they're retiring. And so there's an opportunity here that coincides with this huge industrial expansion. At the same time, an opportunity for, for new people to get their professional education and get into this as a, as a type of work. The Habitat Conservation Trust Foundation is an environmental granting organization and we provide grants to individuals, societies, associations to do fish and wildlife and conservation projects across BC. We've been in the business since the early 1980s. We've invested in over 2,000 projects across BC, over $120 million direct investments. Part of our mandate is environmental education. and. We invest through a range of projects and, um, you know, in, in, in the post-secondary realm, we're investing in a, a project with BCIT and other partners to give students opportunities to work alongside senior biologists. Um, you know, the, the, the thinking behind this is that, that fish and wildlife and habitat in this province is a public resource and it has to be managed for that purpose and we need a, a, a a strong cohort and community of professional fisheries and wildlife and habitat biologists across BC to manage that resource so the benefits flow to British Columbians and flow to visitors to BC. In this particular case we are in a working partnership with BCIT where we are jointly funding work to connect students with uh, working biologists in the field and in this particular series you'll see examples of where those students as interns, paid interns, will be working alongside seasoned biologists to learn about habitat, fisheries and wildlife management from an on-the-ground perspective. 